Well, hey kids. How's everybody out there in YouTube land today? Got something a little different today. I stopped at Wendy's. Stopped at Wendy's. Trying some different things out so I can, you know, report back to you guys the good, the bad, the ugly. So what we have here is a bourbon bacon cheeseburger for $6.29 and a classic hot honey chicken sandwich for $5.49, total $11.78. I've not had either one of these before. I have no idea whether they're good, bad, or ugly or awesome. We'll find out. No fries, no drinks. Have my own drink. <clears throat> no fries to keep down on the carbs. And this is the the bourbon bourbon cheeseburger. Bacon. Bourbon bacon. That's what it looks like. Bourbon bacon cheeseburger. I, it's a double. So I see two patties. I see cheese. I see uh, bacon, bacon, okay. The bacon had a little bit of the barbecue bourbon barbecue sauce on it. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's give it a try. First bite, dry. Dry, dry burger. I don't think I got any sauce. If they did put a lot on here, I, I haven't seen it yet. Temperature is spot on. It's hot, but it's not burn your mouth hot, but it's hot that you know that it wasn't sitting around getting cold for very long. Although, the burgers do look like they dried out a little bit. Probably sat in the warming tray for too long. Not bad. Very dry. I mean, for a for a cheeseburger, very dry. Especially a cheeseburger that's supposed to have, you know, bourbon barbecue sauce on it. I would have thought bourbon barbecue would have been a bit juicier, but. Uh. Mm. Stopped here to use the restroom yesterday tried finding a restroom. I had to go to five different places before I'd finally find one. Apparently a lot of places because of, you know, post COVID like gas stations and even, you know, fast food places like this are not, um, not keeping their bathrooms open and unlocked and doing what they should be doing. It's weird in the camera. It looks like I've got some kind of weird piece of dust flying around me. 
I don't know what that is. Please. <laughs> No, look like some kind of weird piece of... I don't know, maybe it is a bug flying around. I didn't hear anything. Usually I can hear it a wing beat, but... Like mosquitoes and stuff, I can usually hear them. I stopped in here to use the restroom. It was good. It was okay. It was clean. But the floor was wet. Why is it every time you go into a Wendy's or, or a Burger King... We're at McDonald's, I guess, too. The floors always feel so greasy. It's like they never clean their floors good enough, scrub them and get them good and dry. And then this particular one, you can see where somebody had spilt something, like maybe they had a, a beverage with a leak in the bottom of the cup and it was just leaking all over the place. Um, inside where, you know, to walk up to the counter to order, it was leak on the floor. Nobody in there seemed like they really cared. In fact, I had to stand there at the front counter for quite a while waiting for somebody to come up there. I mean, somebody had to call up to say, hey, front counter, somebody get up here. Um, hard to tell. drive through's busy. We're on park. I have to back up through the through the drive-through line. It may prove to be difficult to get out of here. Ray Ray's hog pit. Ray Ray's hog pit. Oh man! Next time I'm up in this area, I'll try that one next. Although I prefer doing these at places where everybody has an opportunity to go and order or not order the same burger. Now, I will say this. As I'm progressing through this burger, I'm obviously getting to where there's more of that barbecue sauce because it's getting a bit more moisture now out of the burger. Uh, maybe they only put it on the back side. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of getting most of the way through this. Mm. A lot more sauce on the backside, as well as a lot more cheese. <laughs> it seems the cheese is all running to the backside, too. Hmm. The bourbon thing's got the tiniest little bit of spice to it. Not, uh, not really anything. Old couple came out of the restaurant. The guy went that way and the wife went that way. <laughs> Sticky. The sugar in that barbecue sauce got around enough that it got my hands sticky. I'm gonna have to get some wet wipes. Hmm. Well, that was an interesting sandwich. I'm getting a little bit of heat in the back of my throat. That took care of that. A little heat in the back of the throat. Mouth feels clean afterwards, though. Lips aren't sticky, but my hands were. Hmm. I'd give that sandwich a six. It wasn't spectacular, you know, awesome, got a, you know, write about it kind of thing, but... Would I order it again? I don't know. 
I don't know if I would order it again. Now, what I did today, and what I'm doing for these videos is getting really a bit more food than what I would normally get, but I'm getting two, I, and I started doing this at McDonald's because they have a deal to get two, two sandwiches for five bucks, so that was a good deal. Um, here, you don't get two for five, but I've gotten now where I eat. I prefer eating two sandwiches instead of buying one sandwich and french fries. Save myself the, uh, the carb loading. Okay, now I'm really confused. This must be the bourbon sandwich. And what the hell did I just eat? What I ate was not chicken. That was that was a double hamburger. This is also a double hamburger, but with with onions in it. And there were supposed to be onions in the bourbon sandwich. That sandwich didn't have any onions. So what was that? I have no idea. See what this is. See, the bourbon, the bourbon sandwich was supposed to have bacon and fried onions in it. This has got fried onions. I'm not necessarily seeing bacon in it, but I'm seeing fried onions in it. And then the other sandwich I got was a honey chicken sandwich. This is not honey chicken. The last one I ate was hamburger, and this is hamburger. The last one had bacon and a barbecue sauce with cheese. And this has the onions. I haven't seen any bacon yet on it. All right, typical Wendy screwed up. Mm-hmm. I'm not seeing any bacon. I do see possibly ketchup. No? I don't know what that is. All right, there's bacon in there. Okay, so I think what they did is they made me one of the barbecue bacon sandwiches as a single and one as a double, but on the double they forgot to put the onions. I believe that's what's happened here. and I didn't get any chicken sandwich. I'll save our review of that for another day. Hamburger, cheese, onions, bacon. And 
Very little sauce. Very little sauce. They need to put more sauce on these. Just another dry sandwich. I don't see how you can have a dry hamburger with bacon and French onions on it, but they do. If they're gonna do these, they definitely gotta put more sauce on them. Cause this tastes very much like the other one, except with the addition of the French onions. So the sandwich I just ate should have been the classic hot honey chicken. You can see right there on the receipt, the second one down. The first one is the double bacon, um, bourbon bacon cheeseburger. And then it says classic hot honey. That classic hot honey was supposed to be chicken. And instead it was just a single of the same thing as the other one. Well, so what you get when you're paying eight, 10 bucks an hour for somebody to work. Sad, really. Okay. Working fast food is, for the most part, the kids, you know, high school, college age kids. They're not homeowners or supporting a household or raising a family on it. As a general rule, you uh, go on in life and you. You progress and you move up into bigger and better things, at least if you're smart, you do. <clears throat> see, now I can see dust flying all over the place. Huh. Shows up really well on my camera. Can't see it in person, but it shows up really well there. So, anyhow, kids, I hope you enjoy these kinds of videos. Let's be checking out the fast food places again. This one was, uh, Real bummer. I was kind of excited about trying that hot chicken sandwich and hot honey sandwich. That sounded good. But there was no chicken in either one of those sandwiches today. I mean, I might be a crazy old bastard, but I can tell the difference between a hamburger and a chicken burger or a chicken sandwich. That did not look, smell, or taste like chicken. Of course, these days, you know, apparently people can't even tell what a woman is today. Seems like everybody's having difficulty defining a woman. Well, I must admit, there's been times it's kind of confusing who is, is not female, but... I am of the old school belief that if you were born with a penis, you're a male, and if you're born with a vagina, you're a female. And if you're born with both, well, that's a hermaphrodite. It does happen. Not saying that that's a life sentence. People want to go get sex orientation changes and be boys dressed like girls or girls dressed like boys. It's certainly up to them. It's a free world. You do whatever you want to do. I have no problem with that. But <clears throat> when boys start competing in girls' events, 
just unfair. Genetic makeup of the male body has us genetically disposed to being stronger than females. It's the foundation. It's like building a house. If you have a solid foundation, you have a solid house. Well, <clears throat> girls have a lighter frame, bit thicker around the thips, and the thighs and hips, the thips, <laughs> the thighs and hips, you know, as a, as a rule for, you know, birthing and that kind of stuff. Mammary glands for nursing babies. Men, we don't do that. Not by choice. I mean, if I had breasts that produced milk, I would nurse a baby, I guess. I'm no less uh, loving and caring than a woman would be with any of my children, grandchildren. <clears throat> but when you have somebody going in and trying to be sworn in as a Supreme Court justice and they can't tell you the definition of a female. There's just something wrong with that. So, But that's my political spin for the day. Guys, be good, be careful, take good care of one another. Thanks for watching this little video I did of me eating at Wendy's and Wendy's get any order wrong. What else is new? Anyway, we'll have more for you later, kids. Be good, be careful. Bye.